me off and I may actually delete it. <sighs> like, I recognize that it's Friday, but I forgot that it's Friday. And you guys, I actually love my neighborhood, which is like such a good thing, right? To be happy with where you live. I just keep thinking about the message that I heard today, which was, um, don't make a head decision with your heart. And sometimes we put our heart too much into things, our emotions too much into things. And we really need to be logical and strategic. And so funny because eating an ice cream, walking out here, it's a beautiful day, right? Life is always gonna have stressors. I kind of like, I have this friend and we're just friends. I kind of like him because he accepts me for who I am. And normally he's optimistic, but today he's really down over money. And he has absolutely taught me a lesson in life that there are two types of problems in life. <laughs> real problems and money problems. He's like, I don't have any real problems right now. I have money problems. So that's because he owns his own business. And <laughs> trying to go on a tangent. When I made that video that we're all broke, it doesn't matter. That kind of like keeps coming back around. I just don't want to get myself caught up in a situation with somebody who's not understanding that we're all stressed out, you know? And not only just that, but somebody who is not keeping the optimism going because it's so hard to do that, like the whole protect your vibe. But I really like him because he normally does. But today he's just having a down day. And I'm finding it hard to accept, but I'm also finding it hard to accept that right now I'm having a down day. I'm having like a series of days. And it's not just in my mind at all. There are things that are really going on that are stealing the joy out of life. Like if you're always on the pressure, on the grind to be better and faster more often and always available, everything feels like a guilt trip. Like right now, I feel like, oh, I want to go log online. And I think, for what? I saw the best meme on Instagram. The meme said, what did it say? Don't work yourself to death. Because of the reality of life, if you died right now, your job would be posted before your obituary would. <laughs> and that is like so true. So true. So true. So much in my mind. It is Friday. What are y'all doing? My friend wants me to cook for him. He's like, are you going to cook for me and buy me dinner? And I'm like, but I understand where he's coming from. Like dinner is not like a big thing, you know, for somebody to accomplish. So I kind of do want to cook because normally we go out all the time. Um, we'll just go like to happy hour and stuff like that in my neighborhood. But I'm kind of like doing the same thing. So to break the monotony, what would y'all cook? I'm thinking about cooking a meatloaf. <laughs> I'm just going to pop that thing right in the oven and keep on, keep on going. I like red meat. I like to get full. I do have, it's happy hour time. These happy hour times are so distracting. I already had my little thing. <laughs> but I'm trying to, there's nobody at that bar. Um, I'm trying to cut back on a lot of things. By me moving, I hope that it will because it's kind of like when you live by a lot of things, you don't really want it as much. You know, I kind of want something bigger and better for my life and this is my friend and he's totally gonna see me talking to myself <laughs> I'm always yelling at this guy if it's him maybe it's not no it's not him <laughs> it's like this guy that does construction out here in this area <laughs> yeah so just walking home on a Friday trying to stay motivated and encouraged and respectful that life is in our roses all the time and especially being an adult is such a conscious decision my whole one ocean thing just comes back to mind just choosing wisely and also to protect like your headspace you know make sure you're being logical when you're making decisions and don't overlook the logic don't get so connected to 
loyalty or time input like the past or the friendship or the fear like for me it's a lot of fear right now i am so afraid right now you know i'm a household of one if something happens to me i go down <laughs> you know and it doesn't sound like so bad but when you value your independence it is scary um and i'm not prepared and I don't, I don't want to be prepared, like, well, but I have to be. That's the logical thing. Like, change is hard. Breaking out of your comfort zone is even harder. I'm almost home, and I don't want to show you guys the lobby of where I live. So, I'm going to cut the video off here. My sister says that she hates when my video should stop because she feels like the video is getting good. But I'm having an opportunity to cook for somebody, and I haven't cooked in, like, girl who knows so it's either meatloaf or steak but y'all i don't really own any dishes so that's why the meatloaf i can get one of those disposable pans in <laughs> crazy right let me go though my ice cream is melting looks like something is going on here anyways i'll talk to y'all later bye